You got a pumpkin farm, you have to have pumpkins for it, or, you know, what do you have? He's got a point. After all, it is called Hall's Pumpkin Farm. So when the cost for pumpkins went up, they've kind of got you between a rock and a hard place. Owner James Nelson admits they were pricey to get this year. Freight went up more than the actual pumpkins, but you combine them together, and it's probably in the neighborhood of 15, maybe 18% more than we paid last year. And remember that drought we went through? It really put a damper on some of it. So some types of pumpkins were hard to get. Our specialty pumpkins, our pies, uh, we had a hard time finding the minis. Nelson said they've chosen not to charge customers more for pumpkins this year, even though they had to pay a pretty penny just to get them to grapevine. Diesel's gone sky high, and most of the trips are between three and 400 miles they make, and it's it, they've got to pass it on to somebody. They can't, they've got to eat too, you know. Do I like high gas prices? Absolutely not. Oil organization OPEC Plus announced it will cut oil production by 2 million barrels a day starting next month. As a result, experts say you'll notice a change at the pump since gas prices depend on a balance between supply and demand. We're controlling what we draw, where we drive, what we do. It has some already worrying about their holiday travel. I do have some concerns because if I want to go down to Austin where I have some family and I want to go travel down there, then it's gonna, I'm going to have to put more money to save up for gas and because I don't know if these prices just keep going up. In Grapevine. And I don't see them going down right now. I'm Ariel Placencia.